Hi, and welcome to the Bible Tribe Word of the Day. I'm Denise Pass with Seeing Deep Ministries, where we see deep in a shallow world and overcome the battles of the mind with the Word of God. Our culture shames those who show emotions, but crying out can become our greatest strength. Reading today in the book of Deuteronomy 25 and 26, and the verse of the day is Deuteronomy 26, verse 7. Then we cried out to the Lord, the God of our ancestors, and the Lord heard our voice and saw our misery, toil, and oppression. Word of the day is cried. It is the Hebrew word tsa'ak. It means to call out for help or in sorrow in an intense, hard situation to cry out. In the midst of sharing more laws and details about the offerings and tithes, Moses reminds God's people of how they got to where they are, reading from Deuteronomy 26, verses 5 through 11. It says, And you shall make response before the Lord your God. A wandering Aramean was my father, and he went down into Egypt and sojourned there, few in number, and there he became a nation, great, mighty, and populous. And the Egyptians treated us harshly and humiliated us and laid on us hard labor. Then we cried to the Lord, the God of our fathers, and the Lord heard our voice and saw our affliction, our toil, and our oppression. And the Lord brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm, with great deeds of terror, with signs and wonders. And he brought us into this place and gave us this land, a land flowing with milk and honey. And behold, now I bring the first of the fruit of the ground, which you, O Lord, have given me. And you shall set it down before the Lord your God and worship before the Lord your God. And you shall rejoice in all the good that the Lord your God has given to you and to your house, you and the Levite and the sojourner who is among you. Sometimes we can treat our relationship with God like a to-do list. The Israelites had a lot of laws and forgot that the point of it all was walking in relationship with God. The laws were a means to help them to walk in a way that pleased God but they were not meant to be a substitute. Remembering where they came from was a way of jolting their memory, so they understood once again the purpose, the point of it all, of the offerings and first fruits in the first place. God's people had to go through horrific times before they cried out to God. They grew complacent and lukewarm in the expression of their faith. Sometimes we need to remember where we came from to remind us of where we're headed and why we have headed that direction. Just like the Israelites, our faith can become an activity void of relationship. Remember the hard places that caused you to cry out to God. Don't forget those times, and use them as fuel to remind you to continue to cry out to God in the good and bad times. Crying out to God is one of your greatest strengths, friend, and it helps us to overcome the weakness of our flesh so we can walk in the Spirit. Go with God and his precious word, friends. Join us tomorrow in the book of Nehemiah.